and today we are going to be filming the first episode of an amazing migrant story. Today on the show we are going to be talking about an amazing personality, Mr. Ganesh Loki. He is a movie producer, writer, actor, entrepreneur, social activist and also a politician in Sydney. He contested in the Australian federal election twice, once in 2013 and then again in 2019. Also, he has produced Bollywood and Australian movies and his own film production company. In 2018, Australian writer Dominic Mayfair wrote a book on his life titled The Pursuit of Dreams. And he was chosen as a finalist at 2019 Citizen of the Year Award by Cumberland Council and 2019 Australia Day Award by City of Parramatta, as well as the finalist Young Community Achiever at IABC Awards in 2014 and 2015. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, Aditya. Please tell us, when did you first start in Australia? Which country did you come from? And what was the reason to come to Australia? Yes, uh, I first arrived in Australia in 1999, around 20 years ago. I first landed in Parramatta, and I came to study here in Australia to do a degree in information technology from Charles Sturt University and that was my reason to come to Australia to do further studies. Why do you choose Australia over other countries? Yeah, that's a good question because Australia has a very fine education system. We have very good universities in Australia and because Australia is well known in poor education around the world, I decided to come to Australia to study a degree in IT. What challenges did you face after arriving here in Australia? Yeah, it was quite challenging because when I first arrived as an international student, I landed in Parramatta and there were like we were living eight to nine students in one or two bedroom apartment in Parramatta and it was quite a struggling life. Like the first struggle started that I had to find a part-time job. I had to study in the morning at the uni and in the evening I had to find a part-time job. And it took me around five to six months to find a part-time job. And even though I found a job, it was a kind of, you know, uh, odd job like uh, working in the supermarket or as a security guard. So in the morning, I used to go to the uni, say until four o'clock, then come back cook your own food and then in the evening from 6, 6.30 onwards I used to go and do the part-time job at any supermarket. So it was quite a struggle and I really worked hard those days, those were really struggling days but eventually it paid off. So now you are well settled in Australia, tell us more about your movies, how was that journey? Yeah, it was a good journey or I would say a kind of a hard working journey. As, as you know, it's not easy to produce movie to any country. And when I go to Mumbai to produce my movies, I was outsider to them. So for me, it was very difficult. Initially, uh, I couldn't get any appointments with the big actors, but I was determined to produce movies. So eventually I build my own, own team, then I got a couple of actors on board and then I produced those movies and it was quite uh, hard working, it was a kind of hard work, quite, uh, quite a struggle but eventually I uh, managed to produce and release my movies and so far I have produced three movies which includes one Hindi movie named as Sarparoshi, then there is a Marathi movie called as Shura Misada and then there is an English short film called Let's Change the World. So I produced these movies uh, with hard work and determination. Tell us why you wanted to produce these movies and your reason to join politics. The reason I produced those movies is always my, it was always my dream to produce those movies. You know, when I was a child, when I was a kid, I had that dream that uh, one day I'll, I'll be producing my movies, one day I'll be seeing myself on the big screen, all my stories on the big screen. So I wrote and produced those movies and I came from very uh, middle class or humble family background. So it wasn't easy for me to go in Bollywood and produce those movies. Because for Bollywood people, I was outsider. So 
but I was still determined. So I worked hard, I built my own team, and then I produced the movies. But there's also another reason, because there is an anger in me against the social injustice or against those social issues like corruption or terrorism. So I wanted to give a message to the community that how a common man can rise up and try to solve those issues. And that is one of the reasons I produce those movies. And it is also the same reason I joined the politics, because I wanted to do something about the social issues and raise those social issues on the political platform. And that is why I joined politics and then I contested the federal election in Parameta in 2013 and 2019 to help as many people as possible. What is your message to new migrants? Tell us about the initiatives to help new migrants. Yes, um, my message to the new migrants is that never give up. When you come to Australia or to when you go to any other country as a migrant, it's obviously it's a hard work and you have to adjust to the local culture, you have to adjust to the you know different situations. But never give up, work hard, always try to do something, you know, something new or try to study, you know, in case if you finding it hard to find a job, in that time try to study. Try to seek help. There are always somebody, there are always some people, you know, they will try to help you. So try to seek help, try, you know, try to work hard and important thing is never give up, stay positive. About our social initiative, yes, we have established an NGO or association called 21st Century World. Through that, we are helping the new migrants. We conduct free seminars. Also, we have a community group on Facebook. It's called Marathi Community Sydney. So through that group and through this association, 21st Century World, we conduct various free seminars, you know, such as helping the migrants to prepare for resumes or helping them to try to find jobs. So all these are free uh, initiatives, free services, and we try to provide it free to them. And we try to do it in, on the weekends in our free time. So we try to do our best to help the new migrants and help the people who need our help. Tell us more about the novel, The Pursuit of Dreams, which is based on your life story. Yeah, uh, in 2018, uh, Australian writer Dominic Mayfair, she wrote this novel, The Pursuit of Dream, Dreams, because she was inspired with my uh, life story, because you know, when I came, I was an international student, and then I pursued my dream to, you know, to produce the movies, to, you know, join politics, contested the federal election. So she wrote this novel, uh, and it is available uh, in the in the market. Also, it is available online. If you Google the Pursuit of Dreams Ganesh Loke, the link will come up. And it is a, I think it's an inspirational story for any migrant. And if you read it, you will uh, try to understand the struggle, the hard work that any migrant goes through. And the important thing is in this novel is that. We try to give a message that if you pursue your dream with determination, anything is possible. You can achieve any dream, you can achieve anything in your life, you can achieve any goals. Okay, that's great. Thank you for sharing your story with us. I hope we we'll inspire millions of other people around the world. Thank you for watching.